in the corridor we have our sign-in space and our family areas so you'll see photos of the families up on the on the doors we have a letter that we've written to the Prime Minister that's some of the work that the children did and um, that's very proudly put up on the wall with the response from the Prime Minister regarding the children's work around the Uluru Statement and their very strong social justice um, content to feel like they want to um, do something to support that cause. That was part of probably teaching children about democracy and how they have a right to write to the Prime Minister if they're concerned about something in their world. With the um, under twos, our nursery at the moment is catering from children for naught, from naught to two. We very much go for natural materials in the classroom. So if you look around the classroom, you'll see there's not many push button plastic toys that just do one thing. There's a lot of open ended materials, which allows children to develop their own play skills and imagination and creativity. Um, we feel that's really important. We think that children have a lot of things where there's only one way of using it, but here there's so many ways that you can use just about everything. We're very mindful of that when we buy equipment. We have a cot room for our babies who are very young and still on two sleeps. Um, we put out stretchers for the older children to sleep in the classroom and we try and accommodate the routines that parents have at home in terms of sleep and food and all of those sorts of things. We have an indoor outdoor program um, so the children are free to move in and out of the, out of the um, play areas and the staff move with the children. We try very much to follow the interests of the children um, and we spend a lot of time observing them and helping to find what they really need, especially with children who are pre-verbal. We do do a lot of cooking with the children and we do a lot of um, gardening and things with the children in the nursery as well as in the preschool. Our program is set around building of relationships in the nursery, pretty much. so around respectful relationships. Um, and the activities are set out to allow the children to have as much autonomy as possible and to be able to use those things, create the things that are provided creatively. In the preschool room, you can see we have a, a programming board just as you walk in, in the children's locker area. And um, the programming board is set up a little bit like a brainstorm map. We do that intentionally because the program board doesn't have activities on it, but it have, has ideas and concepts that we're working to. The preschool room is set up very much like most preschools. We have some you know, separate areas for different things. We have an art space, a block area, um, some dramatic play areas, lots of books and, and things to um, read, stories and that sort of thing. The art space is um, an in important space for our learning. Um, we've, We've set it up very intentionally so that the children have access to scissors or tape or any of the things that they might need to make something. They have recycled materials, they have um, paper and glue and lots of different types of paints, so water paints and acrylic paints and different things that they can access or ask for if they need. And we find that while we set up certain provocations in that area, the children will often use those materials to make something else that they've had an idea about or to develop a particular artwork that they're really interested in. Um, they've been interested in sculpture recently and so we've um, got a sculpture garden at the front of the service in, a, in an unused piece of, of land that we have some beautiful um, stepping stones that the children have, have mosaiced with an Aboriginal elder and they've also um, done some sculpture that they've put out there. There's a large emu at the front of the building that you might notice as you go past um, and the children have made that with the staff. So um, there's some other little smaller um, sculptures out there as well. So that's all come out of our art space. The block area is a place where the children spend a lot of time constructing. We have a light box in there with some see-through building materials but there's also the more standard um, blocks and a lot of loose parts, so what we call loose parts. They're often recycled, things like recycled doorknobs or strange shapes of wood or um, plastic, then some plastic, you know, strips that the children might use creatively in lots of ways. 
we purposely do that again for the development of imagination and creativity and to help the children problem solve. Um, and they're all dispositions for learning that they need to take on um, to school with them and will really help them as they move forward. Dramatic play is important and at the moment we have a baby area set up because we have quite a number of pregnant mummies. Um, so we try and link what the children, what's important to the children at home to what's happening here. The outdoor environment has lots of gardens and as much as we can in a small space. Um, we've tried really hard to green the space. We've developed our gumboot garden from gumboots from past children. And that's a really nice thing for them to be able to come back and find their gumboots on the wall. We're hoping in the next few months to develop a, um, a bush tucker garden as well. So we're hoping that will work, but we'll see. Sand play, water play is very important here. And we also have a mud kitchen where the children can make mud pies like I did when I was a little girl. Um, I think that sort of thing is really important for children. They will get dirty, so we do ask that children don't come in their best designer gear. We ask that, and we tell parents we don't judge them if their clothes have paint on them. We know they're here to do all of those things and they will get dirty. And if they're not dirty at the end of the day, we think that they haven't had a good day. The design of the building is actually quite challenging to work in sometimes. Um, we do have glass everywhere, so we've got lots and lots of natural light. Um, and that's beautiful and I think it's really good for everybody's spirit to be working in lots of natural light. We also have a beautiful view over the harbour which um, makes it be a place that we want to hang out, you know. And I think that's one of the reasons that the children spend most of their time in the outdoors. The heritage trees at the front um, over the playground give us full shade over summer and they are just so beautiful and they're such a... Um, I suppose a stately part of, of the area. So wherever you are, if you're out on the harbour, you can look up and see where Lance is. And the children say, you know, even from my house, you know, children who live a long way away, we've got some children who live over at North Sydney and they can see the Lance trees from their house. So children from Balmain can, can pick where Lance is because of the, the trees. And I think that's really significant. And it helps us because it's such a historical area. Um, we say often to the children that was before the trees were planted and they know that that was a really long time ago because the trees are over 100 years old. So we can often talk to them about things that are a long time ago or a short time when the trees were small, when the trees were middle size, when the trees were really big. So it was more recently or a long time ago and I think that that's a really nice way to, to help them understand that sense of time.